Today's word is reciprocity. Is reciprocity. Is reciprocity. Don't ask me to do a damn thing that you wouldn't do for me. Hello everyone, I hope you're well. No, I'm not going to do much commentary on this video. I'll let her recount her experiences. Um, however, I would like to admonish you, people who are going through similar situations, please don't stay. Do not stick around. These situations rarely get better, you know, and even if they may appear to improve, it is usually temporary. Listen, every domestic violence incident brings you closer to the possibility of being unalived. Okay, and then you'll be just another statistic. Come on. Come on. Girl, he just bust her fucking window. I just want to come on here and give you all a little backstory because... <laughs> I was so fucking lost right now. Like, <laughs> I need more energy. <laughs> oh my god, man. I blame myself for so much of this shit. Um, the end of May. Been, been trying to break up with him for a long time. It's just a toxic gas situation. I have my hand in it, too. You feel me? But I've been trying to get away from him. And he's just. The, the roles, roles fucking reversed. They be saying that like I loved him too early, he loved me too late, loved me t too late type shit. You feel me? End of May. I don't talk to him for like two two weeks, so um he pops up on my house, breaks through the front window, comes in the house, breaks my TV, throws the TV at me, throwing the light at me, breaks the lamp, breaks the fan. Um, I go to Miami for two months to get the fuck away from him. <laughs> The whole time I'm there, he will not leave me the fuck alone. Blow me up. One night he called me 132 times off of different text me now numbers. Making fake Instagrams. Blow me up on email. Blow me up Snapchat. Um, Instagram, Facebook. Making all these pages. I'm just blocking them. Not, not giving them the time of day type shit. Blow me up on Cash App. This man has literally sent me probably like $15 a day in just ones. He's just not leaving me the fuck alone. Um, yeah, anyway, just, just that, there ain't nothing to it, man. And so, I get back on Monday, he, he uh, really quick backtrack, I'm in Miami, he's hitting up my sister, my little sister, asking her to talk to me for me, like, all this shit, leave, just all this shit. So, I get back from, I drive from Miami to Fort so I can have my car the whole summer, I'm out there, trying to get my mind right, money right, all this shit, right? And so... One of my homegirls had, like, called me. She's like, hey, like, you good? Like, this, this, and that. Um, backtrack. I'm sorry. That night he broke in the house. He broke my phone, too. So, my birthday is June 29th. And so, for my birthday, I bought me a new phone. So, I have a six-year-old daughter. And so, the iPhone still works. Like, it connect to the Wi-Fi. It just don't connect to the server or whatever. So, I was letting her use the phone. But it was still logged into my iCloud. So, I was text messages and calls and shit were still coming through but she over there text on my phone girl give me my phone so i put my phone on do not disturb so she wouldn't get no notifications on her phone when i sit here and tell you there is never a day in my life where i put my phone on do not disturb my phone is always is never on do not disturb i hate that shit my homegirl texts me she's like um i'm about to text you don't answer i didn't see that because my phone was on fucking do not disturb my homegirl calls me i get the note the call comes through or whatever um she's like hey girl like you good like you know i'm just seeing how far away you are you know this this that because two hour drive from fort worth to back to my hometown or whatever like yeah girl's like i'm picking up my sister from the airport right now i was like we about to head back down there i'll be there in like two hours right boom as soon as i get off the phone with her i'm going through my text message i see she fucking text me text her right the fuck back i'm like miko wasn't it 
this man popped up at my girl's, my homegirl's house. She has a fucking six-month-old baby. Just her and this little boy at the house. Her and her son at the house. Made her call me right there while he's in her house. Y'all hearing this? He made this girl call me while he's in her house. Went and knocked on her door, trying to get a hold of me. We get, me and my sister, we drive from Fort Worth. We drive back down to, down here. As soon as I'm pulling up to my fucking mom's house, my sister's like, Miko's behind you in his fucking car. He was staking out my mom's house. Staking out my fucking mom's house, okay? All this shit goes on, this, this, and that. Um, leave some flowers on the car, this, this, and that. All this shit happened in the video I seen. I got back to, I got back to Texas Monday. Back to my hometown Monday night. Thursday night is when he did all that shit last night. Three fucking days I'm back in the town. I haven't seen him or talked to him in three months. So, um, anyway. The neighbor upstairs talk about he's been seeing him on the side of the house. He's been out here for like the past three days. Parked on the side of the house. Y'all don't understand. I have lost everything. <laughs> I've sacrificed a lot of myself, and that's why I'm so mad at myself. And I blame myself for a lot of this shit because in my head, I'm like, how could I love a nigga like this? What did I love? <laughs> like, what did I gain? <laughs> what did I gain out of being with a nigga like this? I didn't gain nothing. I lost everything. <laughs> I went to Miami. So, busting my ass off trying to come back to Texas to get me and my daughter a fucking house. Her birthday is August 10th. She starts school August 15th. And now I got a, the money I am I used. I got back to Texas Monday, Tuesday. I went out and I applied for three apartments. I'm waiting for them to get back, one of them to get back with me. I know I'm going to have to pay a deposit and shit. Like, so the, I have like about $1,500 saved up. So I know. That's what I'm saying. The money that I do have, like, no, this shit got to go to my car. <laughs> my fucking car. I can't make money to pay bills and shit without my car. It's just a full cycle. It's just a full cycle. And like I said, I'm just so fuck. I'm more mad at myself than I am him. Like, I said to tell you, really, in this situation, you just sit back and think, like, what was all this shit for, man? Like, what did I get out of this shit? What the fuck did I get out of this shit? What benefit did I get out of this? How could I sit here and love a nigga like this? My fucking daughter was here last night in the in the video y'all can you all well, have that song player you can hear my daughter crying in the background she steps on glass there's blood and shit all over the fucking bathroom floor because she done cut her foot so bad it's fucking literally leaking blood that's what i'm saying like but yeah he's in jail oh i call the we call the police call the police he tried to take off his shit no cops got him and do you know what the fuck his sister did today bail that bitch out of jail <laughs> bail his ass out of jail that nigga's back on the street walking around the whole family's sick. The whole fucking family's sick. I said what I said! As always, stay safe and be self-aware and subscribe for more snippets of wisdom and real talk. See you in the next video. Please like and share the video.